Test. We're working now. It looks like for some reason the my computer decided something else was my mic. I don't know. I had to look into that. You hear me now, though, right? Hopefully the answer is yes. I was just saying, um, welcome back. Who we get in for? Blah 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 blah. Um, <laughs> I said a bunch of stuff. I don't remember all of it. Uh. I'm not sure where we go next. Nothing's marked on the map. For some reason, I was thinking Middleport. I don't know if that's right. I guess we can head over there and see if my memory is right. Can't hurt, right? I really like the uh, group that we have going right now. Although maybe we could switch out like one of our strong physical attackers for a mage that might be worthwhile. Although I don't know if that's better or if it would be better. Um, I think I defended. Oops. Or if it would be better to like uh, just have like a physical group and a mage group and that we can just switch to the mage group. I don't know. Like for like an enemy that we decide is going to be better to use mages on, just like go to a mage party. Maybe a mage party with a really good tank or something. I don't know. I don't know what a good setup is in this game. Oh, the war room. That's a good idea. Maybe we need to go to the war room. Hey, Claire. How's it going? So there's no stream tomorrow because I'll be running my D&D &D game. So I do want to try and get some stuff done today. I did want to do some Xenoblade because I haven't done any Xenoblade the last two days. We keep getting like stuck on this game and not switching. But this is kind of like my caster party. I guess we have Vicky and Jean. Oh, do we ever get the runes? Yeah, we got some runes on them. Probably have more rune slots. Like, Vicky probably has more than one. Not a horrible one. A lot of lightning in that party, though. Like, we could probably diversify. Give someone the rage rune or something. Um. Go check the war room.
I'm going to explain, so pay it, please pay attention. As I mentioned earlier, we must form alliances with other islands before waging war against Kuluk. Besides Obel, there are two other large islands in the area, Rosril, which was forsaken by Gaian, and Middleport. It would be definitely... I would definitely like to get these two on our side. Rosril? Kuluk troops are still stationed in Rosril, so we'll go there after our forces have grown stronger. I'd like to head to Middleport first. If they become our allies, it'll be easier to get help from the other islands. You mean the surrounding smaller islands will have no choice but to listen to us? Yeah, that's right. We'll catch on quick. And once we get the cooperation of all the islands, we'll proceed to Rosril. Yo, does this plan okay with you? Let's do it. Yoda, from here on out, it's all riding on your leadership skills. I'm counting on you. Middleport, huh? There's a sea monster in that area, if I recall correctly. Ooh, sea monster. I wonder if we'll run into it. Like a mage group on my ship, huh? We really kind of have a mage group ish. We should probably work on it, I guess. We can do that. Need to go see the rune check and then check our equipment. Also, I don't know if our mage group is what level they are. Let's see. Uh, 27, 21, 29, they need to level up. That can be accomplished, though. Also have to level up their weapons. make a party my party for the moment like I can see them here but if I want to like see them here how do I how do I get to my other parties from here can I or is only the first party show up in, the, in that stuff Like, say I want to put runes on my second party. Oh my god, you can't? Really? Oh, this game is annoying. <laughs> What's the point of it then? You know? You should be able to just switch which party is in the lead. Like, that's just dumb. Now I have to come in here and I have to, like, remove these guys. And I, I can't even get all four of them into the first party because the first party has to have the main character. Seriously? to assign support on these ones either. That's really annoying.
Does have another room slot. Um, Tell me what this does. Like, I, like, should I make a circuit? I don't know. The name doesn't mean anything. Like, how good are these? <sighs> There's just so many missteps in this game. I swear to God. I don't know which one of these are any good. I'm gonna have to like look up a guide or something. Frustrating. I don't know if this is the best time to level these guys up. I don't know, it might be better to 
wait until we have a lot of money and then level them up all at once. What's the point of having the three different parties if you can't easily switch between them? You know? Oh, a bit rough, yeah. Did some damage now. Any second. <laughs> Where is that island? second now <laughs> it's like just staring at the coastline and the horizon come on where's the island I'm finding Nemo to develop speed. Pick on the land now. Kill your end and uh alright. Any second now we'll see that island. Coming up. Over the horizon. Outline will appear. Now! Now! Oh come on! 
See on the minimap at least. Any second now. There it is. We made it. There's a lot of like seemingly land animals out here at sea. It doesn't really look like a bird that flew here. That's all I'm saying. Just imagine sailing around off the coast of some island when a wild flock of ostriches land on your deck and shoot their ice magic at you. Just something you gotta put up with if you wanna be a pirate. Speak the devil. Get away from me, Chocobo. It reminds me of um, Final Fantasy VII trying to like breed all the different types of chocobos. So you can get like the mountain chocobo and the river chocobo and everything all until you get the gold chocobo so you can get everywhere. You imagine like that's what a nice chocobo would look like, right? All right, cutscene. Oh man, I'm with you, Chipu. Stretch it out, man. Kraken! That's no island. That's a space station. Who summoned Cthulhu? It was me. And suddenly snows on board. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello, sir. Oh. Oh, we can't attack. Oh. No melee? They have a rune of punishment. Can we do a double soldier attack? <laughs> that's not melee, that's a combo, sir. <laughs> oh, we can do the strike rune too. That's not melee, that's a rune. <laughs> this is called the moving island. What part of this guy looks like an island? Yes, this is actually magic. My melee party is well versed in the abilities of non melee people. What you got, Mr. Kraken? Okay. Okay. I see you. I love that this doesn't count as a melee attack. <laughs> well, to be fair, it doesn't look like a melee attack. Oh, they're glowing now. That can't be good. I'm going to decidedly say that's probably not good. Um, What if I do... We probably want to do our combo again. Hey, he's tentacles down. Probably just do the same thing again. Hopefully we can kill the tentacles. 
the best we can do to hit them. She's doing some damage on the main guy, though. Oh, did they stop glowing? Did we just have to hit them? That's awesome. Maybe. Okay, so they do about a 90 damage to everybody every round. But we're gonna have to heal around. Till we can kill them. Not yet. Okay. A little lower than I'd like. I'm assuming that we can get a heal off before they hit us, so we should go one more round. One sec. All right. Um, you know what? Before we do this, we can do rush. This doesn't actually take up a turn, right? And it'll heal the main character. As into the rush is just like a free turn. Oh my god, it's a lot of damage too. Okay. Well, you know that was a thing. Um, let's do our combo. How much health they got left? These tentacles have more HP than I would have thought. You're out of those. I'm going to have you start healing because you can't actually attack. So heal. Keep it. it actually appeared on the mini map when I said now the first. Oh, really? It's kind of funny. I didn't do that. Won't you die? Things have a surprising amount of HP. All right, um, and again. Just kind of do a rotating heal here. Oh my god, her Shrikroon took out the big guy before we killed any of the tentacles. And she does some damage. Those tentacles are beefy. Watch for that guy. Melee party. Even good for the non-melee fight. I'm I'm impressed. Who will be joining you? It would be best if I accompany you. In the past, I have made deals with the high-ranking officials here. Pardon me, Sir Gilded, but I don't really... What? You got an X here or something? Dad, what does that mean? Dario, you are such a... Anyway, what kind of talk isn't appropriate for your son? I have long forsaken Middleport. My presence may not help the situation, but my absence will be harmful. Well, it's up to Gilded to decide what to do. All right, well, it's up to me, but Armada joined my party. Take Sigurd. All right. I said Ramada joined my party, but did he? I guess Ramada's like a support character. He's not even a support, he's, he's like a guest or something. Um So we take you say take Sigurd? Okay. Oh, he's in one of the other parties, isn't he?
I like that boss fight just because they disallowed Melee and my party did just fine. <laughs> you, you got a little Daisy, didn't you? <laughs> little Daisy? She's the Lord's precious pet. <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. They're about the freaking Kraken? If the master hears of this. Oh, I heard. Oh, God, Mickey. one of these guys. Please, you must keep this a Why is this a trope that continues Please. to the games? Allow me to thank you for ridding us of that foul monstrosity. It belonged to my father, but it was just so hideous. Surely you're not traveling through here as mere tourists, I take it. Have you some business matters to discuss with my father? Um, open a business. Open a business? Sure, I want to open a business. I'm going to be selling pearls and rum. <laughs> Pardon me, but you hardly look like businessmen. What? Pearls and rum, sir? I am a... Well, Rum pearl merchant. Went to the trouble of defeating that creature just to come here, so it must be important. In appreciation for cleansing the ocean, I shall speak to my father on your behalf. Now, Mickey, you will accompany us. Don't worry, I will smooth things over with my father. Really? One, two, and three. You will. Have you forgotten? I do not lie. Oh, okay then. Okay, middle port. Been a little while. You better not have forgotten this face. I have not forgotten. Oh, then you're prepared. Sorry, I can't just say, here you go, and give you my head. I have more pressing matters to attend to. You betrayed your former employer and your brethren. It's accept your punishment without struggle. All I ask is that you wait just a while longer. Yeah, very well then, but keep in mind, your head is mine. Okay. You got your brain boost? What do you guys sell? Rum. Oh, they're out of pearls. Spend money appraising things right now. Ah, good luck, cat. That's a lot of money. Guess you might as well. Most of them are bad. Some of them are good. Rum and spades at Mordo. Now, take Sigurd out and come back and talk to King. Oh, seriously? All right. Actually, what we'll do is we'll use the hand mirror because that puts us in the room with the mirror and with a. Uh, What's his face?
360. 180, I guess. Looking for help? I can join you for a mere 10,000 potch. Not to worry, I'll not kill anyone while I'm under contract. I only wish to keep an eye on his whereabouts. Cool. That's pretty cheap for a party member. All right. Done and done. are unsafe it's so bad they're all afraid to go home even though we want to maybe mistaken but i've met a guy night before who was very much like you wait it might have been a trainee winter it may be fate that brings us together at this moment fancy a little game of dice oh lord here we go you have to beat this guy at dice to recruit him Down to one or triple toss? Down to one. You know the rules? Nope. The game where we each take turns rolling dice. Whoever rolls a one first wins. If anything else comes up, you have to put in the same number of pots as you roll. Whoever wins gets all the pots in the pot, and if it ends in a draw, each person splits up the pots in the pot not play a game where you can't pay your share so please don't pay if you can't afford, play if you can't afford also if the dice leaves out of the bowl it's considered dead and you lose you have to look carefully at the marks and roll so that it'll land properly in the bowl got it okay okay um let's just try 20 you can get the idea of what's going on here Six. Four. Oh, you rolled a one. I lose. How could you tie? Keep going. Okay. Serious luck on this one. I mean, this is just entirely just luck. You don't win that much potch either. <laughs> we have rolled this so many times and not gotten a one. Oh, it's a tie because no one got it. Okay, that's how a tie happens. Is this guy... He, he must be recruitable. I don't know. You won't, won't join until later? Okay. We'll, we'll quit for now. Then. Next to me for... People are trying to take my um, mother-in-law's piano. How do I get this bigger? Oh, here we go. 
he sent us a video. They're trying to load an 800 pound piano into the back of like a, like a SUV. <laughs> what the hell? There's no way this is going to work. They showed up with an SUV to just like try and just throw the piano into the back of it. It's a big ass piano, man. Uh, <laughs> I have to watch all that video later. It looks like it might be long. Dragon helmet. That sounds cool. Part of the dragon set. Are, are there set bonuses? I assume there are set bonuses. Let's see. We code in for set bonuses. There are set bonuses. Ooh. I'm going to look these up. Is this game going to freaking tell me? Um, the dragon set. Um, let's see. The helmet's 14 defense. Armor's 32 defense. And it gives you strength. The shield's defense, strength, and evade. Gen guards are strength and defense. All in total, the whole set gives you 75 defense, 9 strength, and 2 evasion. No set bonus, though, for dragon. Some of them do have set bonuses, though. The diamond set has a set bonus of... 10% defense and 25% magic defense. That's pretty awesome. Um, hero set gives you 10% attack, skill, and speed. Holy crap. How do you beat the hero set? All right. Um, master set, mermaid set, ninja set. There's a lot of sets. The noble set, the full set bonus gives you one recover 1% 1 of max HP every round. Plus 5% magic, 10% speed, and 5% magic defense. Not bad. The ogre set gives you permanent fury status. Dude, we want that. Looks like you have to craft that one, maybe. Pirate set, 10% attack, 10% defense. Nice. I like that ogre set. Permanent Fury? That'd be amazing. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good little bit of information there. Uh, that being said... I'll still take this. It's a big defense upgrade for Kika. Pirate set. The pirate set was pretty good too, right? Pirate set. Where's that? Pirate set gives you 10% attack, 10% defense, and minus 5% damage from water elemental attacks. If you can get all of it. So. Good luck, right? This is showing that we'll go up five defense. Like the pirate boots apparently give you 12 defense. So I'm going to start to have seven and also gives you three evade, which is not telling you here. Like, like there's so much information it doesn't give you, you know, like the pirate bracers we already have equipped. So we already have a piece of it. Pirate armor's right there. I mean, how many pieces do we need? It's armor, bracers, boots, and bandana. The only thing we'd be missing is the bandana. Which apparently we could have had at Obel earlier as a bargain item, or we could just make it with a crab shell and some cloth. Okay, let's get the pirate set if we can. Um, put the pirate set on us until we figure out that ogre set. The silver boots have more defense, but I don't know if three. I don't know if so. I don't think silver is even a set. It's just like it's armor, but it's not like. Nothing special. Platinum, silk, Venus, warrior, wing. Let's see. Silver boots. Yeah. They're not one of the sets. All right. Um, we already have bracers equipped. 
So we need to get the armor, which we need another 3,000 potch. I'm going to sell that cat thing. We found another good luck cat. We just gotta figure out how to make a pirate bandana and we can complete the set. Oh, we already have a pirate bandana! Let's go! Now, obviously the Thunder God Scarb is a Thunder Resist, which is pretty awesome. But the big thing here is that should complete the pirate set. So we should be getting a 10% attack and 10% defense and minus 5% water elemental attack damage buff. From that and it doesn't display that anywhere here let me see like there's okay our attack is 296 right if i take off the boots it still says 296 it doesn't show it at all this is the full set i'm gonna try it and see if he does more damage it's gonna be hard to tell i guess I can put that on him though. First of all, we can give her the dragon helmet. We can give her the Thunder Guard garb. Okay, pass a couple things down. Hmm. We got a full set at least, that's kind of cool. Earth rune piece. Fire rune piece. Wind amulet, I mean we might as well pick up some of these because like we have so many empty accessory slots, this gives us wind resist. Like he's pretty full up because we got Water amulet, guard ring, fire magic ring. He's not even using fire magic, but this also increases his strength, which is something. Give them some wind amulets. Didn't watch the whole thing with the pin of fit in the minivan. It was an Escalade and they made it fit in the Escalade. Oh my God. They actually managed to squeeze that thing in there somehow. I have to watch that video later. <laughs> oh, they had a blacksmith here. Did you think the smith was missing though or something? Is this the smith we recruited? It's not, is it? I wonder if finding this guy will lead to one of the hammers. We have, we have nine. We could get like ten thousand if we get one of the top two. I mean, it's a way to get some money at least, but also kind of a waste of time. But here we are. 
I think they put a lottery in just because part three had a lottery and they didn't really care enough about it to actually do anything with it. If that's the case, they shouldn't have put it in, you know? Sorry, but we're enjoying our tea at the moment. Go away, little boy. Today's tea is especially flavorful, isn't it, dear Oscar? Oh, you have an interesting fortune. Fortune? Oh, my dear Deborah, are you not satisfied with me as your chatting partner? It's not that I don't like you anymore, my dear Oscar. It's just that he has a very interesting fortune to tell. Mm, that again. It's something I just can't understand. You might be unable to see it, but it is just so happens that I can see it clearly. You, there's an incredible power tangled around your soul. Interesting, I've never seen anything like this. You seek the aid of many people right now, don't you? I see your struggles. Take me with you. It seems like there will never be a dull moment. Wait, my dear Deborah, what are you saying? My dear Oscar, if you want, you can just stay here and keep having tea. Huh? What? All right, let's hurry and go. Your name is Gilded, right? I'm Deborah. Is there anything you'd like to know? I'll tell you where, whatever. Okay, so this is our fortune teller chick. Maybe give us a hint where to go if we get stuck. You want to come too? Guess not. Okay. Hold up any urns. Interior design book. Oscar will join without notice. Okay. He just shows up one day, huh? Now, here we are. Though our house is humble, I am sure my father will be honored to have your company. Oh, yes. Yeah, very humble. The statue out front really screams humble to me. Welcome to Middleport. I am Stoltenheim Rock Reinbach the Second. I am Stoltenheim Reinbach the Third. <laughs> what? What? That's my name too. Whenever I go out, I um, uh, I guess I'm gilded. I often hear rumors of you these days. They say that you're quite bold. If it is indeed the case, I would be pleased to do business with you. I see a familiar face. I'm honored that you remember me. I'm currently working for Sir Gilded. I apologize for the recent troubles concerning the rune cannon shells. <clears throat> well, that was... Anyway. If, are you here to discuss some kind of deal? Do you do business with Cray as well? Hmm. We seek your help in finding Kulok. That is not what I was expecting you to say. Yes, well, this is a difficult matter. How is it a difficult matter, Father? Considering that our current circumstances, I believe we should join Gilded. Kulik may have left this land once, but their army could return to Middleport at any time. Everyone knows this. So you were listening. As you know, Middleport thrives on commerce. Our survival depends on trade with all. I see. You're implying then that Kulik is one of our trading partners. Deals with Kulik go through Orark Maritime Trade. You might also know them as Cray Trading Company. What's that? Cray Trading Company? Father, is this true? That infamous... Listen to me. I have my reasons for the decisions I've made. 
My son, you have no right to condemn me for this. You are able to live this free and easy life thanks to my influence. And you dare say my hands are dirty? Oh, how could this be? Excuse me, but is this the time and place for this argument? I'm sorry, Mickey. My father is in poor humor. It does not look like we would obtain his forgiveness. Young master. Sir Gilded, I have a proposal. You will not limit your activities on this island. I will not limit your activities on this island. You will also have unrestricted access to the harbor. However, you will tell no one about my involvement with the Cray Trading Company, nor will you interfere. I cannot abide you openly, but you may conduct your business here as needed. What do you say to that? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, he'll, it's like, I'll leave you alone, but I'm not going to help you, basically. I guess it's not a bad deal. I don't think he's going to join us. And we'll call it a deal. Now, if we're done here, please leave. Oof. Mickey and Weinbach left our company. Father. What? Are you still here? Well, Mickey, is little Daisy doing well? Today has been quite tiring. I'd like to see her. Uh. Father, the thing is... Okay. Oop, hello. Hiding stuff in the corner. We're back here again. We're done here. Hot scene. Huh? Who are those people? Please, let us accompany you. The young master would like to go on a journey. He wishes to expand his knowledge and see the world. Listen, I observed your dealings with my father. Oh, how he fills me with utter disgrace. I realize that I must surpass my father and strive to be noble. After all, it is I who will eventually succeed him. As for me, well, I have lost my job, so if possible, I would very much like to join you. <laughs> I have done a disservice to Mickey. From now on, I intend to protect him. Please allow him to come as well. I would be most grateful. All right, come on aboard. Oh, thank you so much. You are truly a gracious friend. Now, it's your turn. Please feel free to show us your sentiments. What? My friend, one of my acquaintances is an engraver. Will you bring the rose crest he made? as proof of our undying and everlasting friendship. If you do so, we too will swear to accompany you through any and all hardships. This is okay. how things are done in my You still gotta get the thing for him. Just Isn't like in the other ones. right, Mickey? Uh, what? Hardships? You mean me too? Right? Uh, yes, I, I suppose so. <laughs> Okay. Mm, Nanal Island, huh? Speak to the NPC at Nayen. Okay, we'll do that first. More recruits, of course.
Me? I'm known as Gareth the Engraver. What brings you here? You have know, the Rose Crest? One of my pieces. For all is pretty so my works, but if it's not for sale, it was custom made by some for someone else. Actually, I was asked by Sir Reinbach. Well, you should have said so in the first place. He's already paid for it. Please deliver it to him with care. Right, sweet. Well, that's taken care of. Did you hear? Apparently there's a woman with incredible strength. Why don't you invite her to join you? I hear she's hot-tempered, though. They say she wrecked the inn in Middleport just because someone talked to her. Nice. Alright, so that's the people you were talking about. Guess we need to go back to Middleport. Where's the end? Sorry for the other day, it just happened. It didn't just happen, you wrecked my inn. You've got some gall showing your face around here. You haven't even paid for the repairs yet, you know that? Lend us that strength of yours. You say you're rude, aren't you? I gotta punch your lights out. Oh. Young sir, this woman's trying to avoid paying her repair bills. So, you wish to form an alliance with this woman, correct? Charlemagne. Yes, that's right. I can understand why I'm always hearing about your exploits. Young sir. I shall take care of that. This woman, this, all that this woman destroyed, it is an honor to lend my services to such a prestigious man as you yourself, Mr. Gilded. In that case, I'll join your force. It seems as if I don't have any other choice. That Helga, what is this Charlemagne? Where's he at? I would like to accompany you as well, but I must tend to the end. Please come again in a little while. Okay. Thank you. 
Talk to Reinbach? Where's he at? Ah, oh, wonderful. You've done well, my friend. It must have been difficult for you to get the Rose Crest. Hey, Master, the fact that you went through so much trouble to bring me this is an unquestionable sign of our friendship. In appreciation for your efforts, I offer you offer this Rose Crest to you, and we shall now board your ship. Come, Mickey. Yes, sir. Okay. to people now. Alright. Not very much magic. Level 29. Weapon level one. Unique rune, red rose rune. Okay. He has a lot of luck. Seems like a lot of luck. Yeah, he has a lot of luck. Go back to his mansion? Okay. that I got later, I guess. It's been a long time, young master. Etienne. I heard that you left on a journey. I was worried that I would never be able to play my melodies for you again. My music is meaningless without someone there to appreciate it. It is an utterly forlorn feeling. Of course. My humble opinions have no bearing on the young master's decisions. Then why not come with us? Would I be permitted to accompany you? It would not it would be not be a bad idea to let your music entertain the crew. What do you think, Sir Gilded? Come with us. Music. The nay, huh? Okay. Teleport, teleport. Charlemagne, you have to actually exit Middleport on your, to your ship and then sail back in, talk to him, and repeat like three times. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. It's incredibly strong. Okay, anyway, that's about Helga. We got the other room. Master Gareth! Ah, oh, young Master Reinbach, and what did I, what did you think of my handiwork? Beautiful! I am using it with great care and proof of a beautiful friendship. You're using it, but that's such a delicate, well, fine, I guess. I never expected you to use it. Actually, I have an idea. Mr. Gildy, may I also come along? Let me check on the rose crest from time to time. I beg of you, please. Then I shall get ready right away. Please excuse me for now. All right. Back and forth. Sharpens weapon. Okay. Can't take some money farming, but we can do that. We're checking this for pearls every time we go by. Oh, I'm broke. I have to actually leave and come back in multiple times by hand. Got it. Must be getting up to like 65, 75, somewhere in there. Right? And we have a lot of people recruited at this point. Seventy three. What? Yep.
Let's see how we're doing. Let's see, we're missing two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Maybe more than that missing, right? That puts it what eighty? Are we at eighty already? I don't know if that's right. Maybe I miscounted. Let's save the game. Most interesting star of destiny recruit. Okay. Well. We'll do that one next time. <laughs> We're going to stop here for this one. I want to get in some time with Xenoblade tonight. And if I don't start it, I won't have time to stop it. <laughs> so we're going to stop Sweet and four right here for today. We will be picking it back up. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm running my fifth edition campaign tomorrow. Um, although it may not go all the way to midnight, so maybe I'll have time for a stream. But that is uh, it's up in the air. I wouldn't expect a to stream tomorrow. And I think we may be having people coming over Friday night. So the next stream is either going to be Friday night or Saturday morning. And I can't say which, but I will keep you guys informed on Discord as far as that goes. But um, that's where we're going to stop for tonight. For this game, we're going to play some Xenoblade. So I'll be right back. I'm going to switch games. Don't touch that dial.